Hey, how's it going? Wayne here with me to you, Game Truck, and in today's video, we're going to cover five simple games that you can play at your Game Truck birthday party. So make sure you stay tuned because we're coming up right now. Okay, so the first game that we're going to cover is called Ping Pong Floats. What you need for Ping Pong Float are simply three party cups and one ping pong ball. And then you'll take the party cups and fill them up with water in each cup. Ideally, you would have teams, um, one, two, three, or four, or however many teams that you need to suit your party. You would have three cups for each team, one ping ball for each team, and the object then would be to blow the ball from one cup to the next one, and the first one to get into the third cup is the team that will win the race. Now, you may have seen our other video where we talked about five party cup games that you can play in there. We didn't include this particular game in that because it actually required three different items in order to make this work. And in that video, every one of our games either required, you know, either just one or maybe two items in order to play the party cup games. So that's why we didn't include it in that video and we found that it would work well in this video. The next game on the list, going to make the crowd kind of laugh at each other. It's just kind of one of those games which looks really kind of silly, but it's a pretty fun game and it's called Shake It. So all you need for this game are empty soda bottles and gumballs. What you'll do is put the gumballs in the soda bottle. I estimate around 50 pieces should work well. And you're going to tape the soda bottles on the top ends together. The object of this game is to get the gumballs in the top bottle and you're going to shake it to get them to drop down into the bottom ball. And the first team to get all the gumballs to drop to the bottom is the team that will win in this race. And then what you'll need to do is shake the gumballs so that they drop into the bottom soda bottle. Once that happens, the first team to do that wins. Now you can do this with either one set in one hand or you can actually do this with two sets together for my example today i just have one set in our hands all right so next we'll get your guests moving a little bit with the game called magic carpet all you need for magic carpet ride is either some sort of carpets like a rug or uh, even some blankets if you have some older blankets that are kind of slippery and then you'll need some sort of smooth surface floor so if you have hardwood floors uh, that would work perfectly if you happen to be in like a, a church gym or a high school gym or something like that where you have nice smooth floors uh, that will also work um, don't believe you're going to be able to make this work on carpeted floors you'll need to pick one person from each team who will sit on the rug and then the objective is to scoot yourself from the starting line down to the finish line obviously the first team that crosses the finish line is going to be the winner now, you could do this with teams, make it a relay race, and then you have the teams going back and forth and, you know, make the game a little bit longer. But this is sure to be something that gets the kids laughing and having a good time together. And it's also one way to keep them, you know, kind of active and get that energy flowing and out of your guest. Okay, so moving on to the next game is a game called Pop the Balloon. And in this game, the items that you will need are string and balloon and then people. And that's it. So the first thing you'll do is you'll air up your balloons and then you'll take the string and tie one end around the balloon and then the other side of the string will go around the participant's ankle. The object of this game is pretty simple. You're going to take your participants and they're going to battle each other to see if they can pop the other person's balloon. The last person standing will be the person that wins this particular game. And a little pro tip when playing this game is if you have a larger group of players, you're going to want to make sure that you have enough ample space. So that way, if you're playing in your house especially, you don't want the players running around kind of banging into each other, but also knocking over something in your house. So you want to make sure you do have ample space in order to play this game. Uh, but if you only have a couple players, you know, a, a kind of a tighter spot should work okay for you. Okay, and last but not least is a game that I've dubbed Stick the Landing. And what you need for Stick the Landing are simply water bottles filled about three-fourths of the way up with water. So the first thing you'll need to do is decide on two teams. And on either side of a table, you're going to stack up five of these water bottles per team. So in this case, you'll need ten water bottles, five per side. And then you can either do one-on-one, -on -one, so you either have one player on each side, or you can do this as more of a relay or a team race where you have one bottle as one person on each team. So you'll need five players per team, and then each player will have their own bottle. And the object of the game is to flip over your water bottle and have it land straight up on the bottom again. And once it lands on the bottom, then the next person on your team will go until all five are done. And the first team that flips over all five bottles is the team that will win. 
And with that guys, that wraps up our five simple games to play at your next party. And uh, just a quick question, if you've played one of these games, let us know which one of these games was your favorite on the list. Uh, if we missed a game that maybe you think we should add to this list, please leave a comment below. We truly appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and we hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.